Hey guys, it's Vic, and this is actually not going to be ASMR. I apologize because you're probably going to hear some noise in the background. But I wanted to show you a quick recipe that I thought some of you might enjoy because I can eat this whole casserole dish by myself. So what I have here is, and I know you guys like my recipes, um, banana pepper dip. If you are a fan of banana peppers or banana pepper dip or anything like that, I'm telling you this recipe is for you. It's super easy. So I was going to record a video while I was making it to show you the step-by-step -step instructions, but it's literally that simple that you can pause this video and write down what I say and make it yourself. So the nice thing about this recipe is you can kind of measure sorry guys I had some dental work done and I have like cuts on the side of my tongue from the um bless you buddy from the um dental work that they did and yeah I'm in like a lot of pain right now so I'm trying to talk slow okay so what I was saying was you can kind of choose like how many banana peppers you want to put in how spicy you want it how not spicy you want it I have really bad acid reflux, so I cannot eat really spicy things. Um, I love me like some chicken wing, chicken wing dip and stuff like that, but I can't handle spicy things. So for this banana pepper dip, what you're going to do is you're going to get an 8 ounce package of cream cheese. You're going to get a package of shredded mozzarella cheese, just like a standard size one. You don't need to go crazy and buy like a giant one. I bought three banana peppers and because I have these like lacerations on my tongue from my dental work, um, I didn't want to be like scalding my tongue. So I actually only used one banana pepper. Um, and then you don't have to, but I decided this time to use mild Italian sausage. You could, I, I, sweet would probably work, but I couldn't find sweet in the grocery store. So I used mild. And then you're going to need um, breadcrumbs and a little bit of garlic salt. So what you do is in a bowl separate than this. And a casserole dish like this is fine because you're going to bake this in the oven. This is cold. I haven't baked it yet at all. What you're going to do is in a bowl, you're going to combine your 8-ounce package of softened, like room temperature, cream cheese. It really works best if you have like an electric mixer. Um, you're going to do probably, I would say half a cup to a cup of shredded mozzarella you're going to add your banana peppers that are seeded and diced up um, sometimes I cut them by hand if I'm trying to just save less dishes and sometimes I put them in my like you know my dicer and then your sausage so you're going to combine it all in a mixing bowl and then you're going to spread it out so it's like, let me see if I can show you. Sorry, Raffi's like not napping today. So you're gonna spread it out in a casserole dish. And then you're going to top it with um, mozzarella cheese and breadcrumbs. You're gonna pop it in the oven for like 350. I usually do about 15 minutes um, till it's kind of like bubbly. And I'm not gonna lie, it actually doesn't taste bad cold either. Like if you wanna eat it the next day out of the fridge cold, it doesn't taste bad. Um, the garlic salt you're going to add in the mixture as well, if you want. That's the nice thing about this, is it's so easy that you can kind of just play around. Like, sometimes I add sausage, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I add garlic salt, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes I dice my banana peppers, sometimes I cut them with a big knife by hand. So, really, it's that simple, guys. You are going to literally do your cream cheese mozzarella cheese shredded banana peppers sausage if you want this is my first time making it with sausage so i'll let you know how it turned out um garlic salt and breadcrumbs that's it and then like i said you're going to pop it in the oven and when it's nice and golden bubbly i i kind of take a spoon and like go like this with the edges when it's in the oven um and that's it that's all you do um this one restaurant that we go to serves amazing banana pepper dip and they serve it in like a little crock, like a French onion looking crock and they serve it with pita, warm pita bread. I don't know why I haven't done the pita bread yet because 
I'm obsessed with it. Um, probably carbs. So I, I usually serve this with like either um, Frito scoops, which I love Frito scoops with all my dip, or um, like Tostitos, the little round ones. Um, the nice thing is you can like put this on a platter and you could put all different things around it. You could do Ritz crackers, Frito scoops, Tostitos, wheat thins, pita bread to give people like an option of how they want to dip it. Um, oh, and it's so good. So good. So yeah, if you guys are looking for like a quick, fun, tasty, yummy recipe, try this banana pepper dip. So affordable, so easy, so cheap. Um, if you even want to save time, you could buy like a, like a round tin foil, like cake pan from like the dollar store. I just got a bunch of Pyrex, um, sorry, I don't have my wedding ring on. I haven't gotten ready for the day yet. Um, I have a bunch of Pyrex that I ordered from Amazon, so I like to utilize them. But it's, like I said, it's such a delicious recipe. It's so good. We are taking our kids to a friend's of ours house tonight. They have two kids the same ages as mine. <coughs> and um, I grew up with them. And, yeah, we're going to go do dinner at their house and let the kids play. Because where I live, it's absolutely like sub-zero temps and freezing. My kids are going stir crazy. And my husband's off this weekend. So we're going to do just a little bit of like... Uh, kind of an inside date night for the adults and let the kids play their house is like more toys than any child I've ever seen they have like three rooms with toys at their <laughs> at their house so needless to say my children do not get bored um yeah so try this guys it's a really like I said yummy affordable and easy and fast recipe for an appetizer I bring it to like every party and it's gone within like 20 minutes um, next, I think I'm going to show you if I do another recipe, um, pizza dip. Pizza dip is also quick, easy, affordable, and amazing. Um, so yeah, try the banana pepper dip. Let me know in the comments if you make it. And I'm definitely going to start, um, giving recipes when I do my next ASMR video. I've been wanting to do that. Um, I also wanted to know your opinion so I have a list of like role plays I want to do when I start doing ASMR again and I'm Italian so I know everybody loves when I did like Teresa the Italian girl role plays but I was thinking of doing um Karen Hill from Goodfellas I don't know if any of you are into like mafia movies but Goodfellas is based on a true story and I've literally seen every single Italian movie you can think of <coughs> excuse me and I know them all by heart um, so I was thinking of doing like a Karen Hill role play, like Karen Hill does your makeup and then just use like lines from the movie. I don't know. I don't know if it's stupid. Um, and what else was I going to say? Well, yes, podcast is like ready to roll. Um, I just kind of changed my mind last minute and I don't really want to do it on YouTube. Um, that was my plan all along. I kind of want to do Spotify or like Apple music or whatever, but I have an Android, so I don't know how that would work. Um, that's really all I'm waiting on is the, um, I'm just waiting on the, like, configuration to get it up onto Spotify or some somewhere like that. But that's the platform I decided I think I want to go with, so that's the hold up. But anyways, my daughter's starting to scream because she is not napping today. <laughs> um, they, yep, I'm going to go get her. I am so sorry. And enjoy this recipe.